for another few days in my life video. I'm Kate. I'm in my second year of law school and I'm just vlogging my day-to-day -day life. So if you're not new to my channel, you know that I primarily make vlogs centered around law school and my law school journey. And this video is going to have some aspects of that, but it is Friday. So I think I'm going to title this video like days in my life living in Kentucky because I live in Lexington, Kentucky. I go to UK law and I don't know. I just think it'll be kind of fun to center this video more so around just my life living in Kentucky instead of like really honing in on like law school. But like I said, I'll still be doing like law school related things. So you guys will still get like that content. It's just going to be a little bit different. So today's Friday. It's February 3rd. I had planned on vlogging a lot more today, but my boyfriend has been here this whole week and he left um, this morning and after he left, I don't know, I got in a weird mood. I just wasn't in the headspace to vlog, if you know what I mean. So I cleaned my whole house, listened to podcasts, did some self-care. I have these eye patches on and I'm feeling a lot better now, which is good. So I'm planning on vlogging like the whole weekend. Tonight, I'm getting dinner with some of my friends to celebrate my birthday, which was Wednesday, but makes more sense to celebrate like on a, on a Friday or like a weekend day. So I'm really excited for that. We're going to Carson's. It's downtown in Lexington. I've been there before it's like kind of like a nicer restaurant and I'll try to vlog that I'm kind of bad at vlogging like when I'm with my friends or if I go out because I don't know I just I feel weird like whipping out my camera and stuff but I'm gonna try to be better about that and I'll vlog as much as I can tonight so that's the plan for tonight it's six o'clock now my reservation isn't till 9 15 because I um, procrastinated like making the reservation and that's all they had left so very late dinner I have a couple of hours before I need to start getting ready so I'm gonna read a little bit for next week and I'll go through my little to-do list for Monday and just try to get a few things done before I have to start getting ready. So yeah, I'm just going to get a couple of little things done. I'll probably try to do like a get ready with me part of the video for today. Tomorrow I have a meeting um, about my note for the law review that I'm part of. I talked about this in a previous vlog, but basically I wrote it's like an argumentative essay, very long essay. It's 18 pages on fast fashion and it's just, they call it a note. I basically just have a meeting with my notes editor at, I want to say like 12 tomorrow at the law building to discuss any changes I need to make or any feedback that he has. So that's on the agenda for tomorrow. Also planning on going home tomorrow. I don't talk about this as much as I should on my channel, but I am from Eastern Kentucky. So Appalachia is very near and dear to my heart. And I don't really go home a ton because I'm always like, I'm just always busy. But I just, I really wanna make more time for that because I always feel more whole when I come back from a trip home. I just feel like better, I don't know. Probably gonna go home. I'll take you guys along for that as well. And then Sunday, I'm gonna come back to Lexington to my house, which is where I'm at now. And we're gonna be studying and getting a lot of stuff done for the following week. I really appreciate you clicking on this video. I hope that you enjoy it. I'm gonna get started on my little to-do list for before I start getting ready for dinner. And yeah, it's gonna be a good weekend.
I'm at my desk and I did not leave myself a ton of time for school stuff tonight. Like, I don't know, I just kind of got in my own little world like cleaning and organizing and stuff. But I do want to spend just like 30 minutes going through my to-do list for next week and maybe even skimming like a case or two if I can. Luckily, I am kind of ahead for Monday because I've already read for criminal procedure for that day. So that's one thing that I like don't have to worry about. Mondays and Thursdays are my busiest days because I have like all of my classes on those days. So definitely a lot of reading to get done by Monday. But like I said, I'm ahead. So I'm not too mad about the fact that I like am not going to be like spending a ton of time studying and reading tonight. So I'm looking at my to-do list. Um, like it's pulled up on my computer here. And it looks like for medical liability, which is my first class on Mondays and Thursdays, we only have to read from page 406 to 413. So that's really light. So I'm just going to do that really quick. And that'll be one less thing that I have to worry about on Sunday. And yeah, just one little thing I can do um, since I have time. And then I am going to get ready for my birthday dinner. So the last time I did a get ready with me, it was very therapeutic and I feel like I'm just like so much more myself when I'm just sitting here doing my makeup, talking to the camera. So that's what we're going to do. My outfit for tonight is kind of like neutral, but also kind of classy, I think. So I just want to do like, I don't know, I want to do a glam neutral look. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. I'm not a makeup artist and I don't claim to be, so maybe this will turn out good, maybe it won't. I've already done some skincare, so my skin is prepped. So I'm just gonna start off with this e.l.f. primer. This is the Power Grip Primer. This product is really good. I've only been using it for like a week and I only do it when I do like a full like face of makeup. But from what I've seen so far, it's really really good I really like it so that's what we're using to prime and prep my face I look like I have like little like horns back here wings or something it's funny so I'm gonna do concealer and contour before I put on my foundation or at least like the cream concealer and contour just because I want to look very like snatched tonight so I'm just using this elf hydrating camo concealer i actually just use this as like a bronzer like contour i kind of just like very very lightly put this all along where i want contour it's very pigmented and a little bit goes a long way so i'm kind of like really careful with it but i do really like this stuff I'm gonna blend this in kind of roughly i'm in a little bit of a hurry because my best friend allison is on her way she so kindly is driving all the way from where she's from in eastern kentucky and yeah i'm just so excited to see her but i have her location so i can see that she's like getting pretty close to lexington so i need to hurry that way i'm ready and me and her can have some girl talk before we head to dinner this kind of looks orange for some reason i don't really know why this part of my makeup routine like does not have to be perfect because I kind of I go in with foundation and everything after this and it all just it works okay it works trust me trust the process so like I was saying earlier I was like definitely in a little bit of a slump earlier today I just felt like I don't know why I just get so lonely and like anxious about my relationships and my friendships and everything and I'm like I think what sparked it is that I called my mom and she didn't pick up and I was like oh like I guess you hate me and a couple of my friends that were supposed to come to my birthday dinner tonight can't make it for like very valid reasons so I'm not trying to like I know the world doesn't revolve around me but it's like I don't know but I still am gonna like miss them so much and it would be nice if they could be there, but I totally understand that life happens and 
you just can't always like make it to things so i think that's kind of what sparked that like anxiety in me and i started to feel kind of lonely and just not the best but i'm feeling better now very happy to be sitting here doing my makeup and just kind of have some downtime before dinner okay maybelline fit me concealer this color is probably a little bit light for me i've noticed but um it's just gonna have to work I also don't have a beauty blender, so we're just going to have to use a brush and blend this in the best that we can. So I finished my readings for medical liability for Monday, and I just did a very light skim of the readings for that class because I actually got called on in there on Thursday last week. Obviously, I still am going to make sure I understand the material, but I'm not going to do as close of a read because I already got called on. Chances are he's probably not going to call on me again. That would be crazy if he did. But it was honestly insane because Thursday that day, I got called on in there at like 8.30 a.m. And then I got called on again in the next class, which is just crazy. Like, because it's random. Like, they just pull cards and if you're card comes up with your name on it then they will call on you to discuss the cases or whatever you read the night before and that was the one day i did not really feel super prepared to be called on because my birthday was the day before so obviously i was like oh it's my birthday like i'm just gonna like not read this as closely as i normally would what are the odds i get called on tomorrow for these classes and what do you know i got called on like it went fine and i pretty much knew what i was talking about but yeah on the right side for those two classes i more than likely will not be called on again for at least like another couple weeks so i can kind of allow myself to relax on how closely i'm reading in those classes which lightens my workload for next week which is great okay the first foundation i'm going to use is this beautiful skin by charlotte tilbury and I use this as well as another foundation that I'll show you in just a second. So I don't even rub that in yet. I just kind of leave it there dotted all over my face. And then I go in with Lancome Taunt Eat All. So the reason that I mix these two is because the Charlotte Tilbury one has a very glowy finish and I have oily skin. So I kind of like to offset that with the Lancome one, which is more of like a matte finish. And it's just perfect if you have like combination skin and you still want a little bit of a glow but you also want a little bit of um, oil control so that's why I mix them so I'm just going to go over my contour with a uh, like powder contour this is the essence contouring duo I hope that didn't break because I literally like love that product it didn't break oh my god I'm so happy I was gonna be so sad if that broke anyway I go in with this lighter color in all of those same places that I went in with the um, cream contour and just kind of like you know give myself some color give myself a little bit of a glow I feel like I say this in every vlog but this semester is just going by so fast like my birthday week is something that I always really look forward to and I remember when classes started I was like oh like my birthday's forever away don't even really have to start thinking about that yet and here we are we're already in February and we're on like what week four week five of class we're going into week five I think yeah we're going into week five of class which is crazy and I was also looking at my like countdown thing for spring break. Me and my best friend Allison are going to Amsterdam. I talked about this a little bit in a previous vlog. If anybody has Amsterdam Rex, please, please, please let us know. Because I really want to try some things that are like, you know, tried and true. And anyway, we're like 35 days away or something like that. I just remember planning this trip and like buying our plane tickets and it felt so far away and here we are like a month away all right i'm looking very glowy i'm feeling better already this is kind of a step that i don't do a lot but i have this like pressed powder and i like it pretty good i do feel like it makes my skin look a lot more blurred and like matte in the places that i want it to be matte so i'm just gonna try that out we'll see how it looks 
that is a lot i don't know if that's what i wanted but okay let's hope this looks good because there's no going back now okay so i'm gonna let this sit there for like a second and then i'm just gonna use that same brush that i did my foundation with and we're just gonna like brush it off okay let's see what this looks like i don't really know what it's supposed to do i guess it's supposed to make it look more snatched and just kind of clean up anywhere that the contour kind of maybe looks muddy or anything i guess that looks good okay so i'm gonna go all over my face with a very light coat of this matte and poreless pressed powder from maybelline just because i feel like that stuff that i just used on my face maybe made me look a little bit paler than i am I know I look very matte right now, but just trust me, my skin will get oily in like 10 minutes and that glow will come back. So I think I've decided that I want to do kind of like berry colored lips and cheeks and a very neutral eye. So what I'm going to do is go in with this essence blush that I literally always, always use and kind of use that as a first layer of blush and blend that in to give my cheeks some color i have no idea what we're gonna do after dinner i don't really feel like going out i went out last weekend with my friends and i don't know i just got really bad like anxiety and it just was not pleasant just recovering from like i just, I just needed to like recharge socially a lot after that day and i had a blast and i'm so thankful for my friends it was so fun to be able to like celebrate my birthday the weekend before during the week and then again today but i just don't know if i want to like go out on the town you know i think i more so just want a really nice dinner come back here and have some much needed girl time with allison i think is what i really want to do okay i'm just going to go in with this merit blush because it's a cream blush and i think it's going to make me a little more glowy it's called raspberry beret and i just use my brush to put that onto my cheeks i'm gonna use this merit highlighter stick and bounce just to highlight the um like high points of my face and add a little extra glow and then i just like to use my finger rub that in i really like this highlighter because it's not overpowering it still provides a really nice glow but it's nothing too crazy. I normally just do eyebrow gel, but I'm gonna fill my brows in a little bit with this Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow that I've had since I was literally probably 19. So gross, I need to throw it out. So bad to keep like expired makeup, but is it really that bad? Like I don't wanna have to pay $30 or however much it costs for a new jar of it when I have so much product left And yeah, I just don't really feel like doing that. I'm just using a little bit to just kind of fill them in Make them look a little more defined first I go in with the NYX brow glue and then I go in with a tinted NYX brow gel The glue just kind of serves to hold them in place and lift them up a little bit and then I like the um, tinted gel to just add a little bit of color to them. Allison is literally like five minutes away, so I have to hurry. I may have to cut the get ready with me a little bit short because I don't want to be vlogging and not be able to greet her and say hello and catch up okay i'm gonna have to cut the get ready with me a little bit short i do apologize honestly not in a very chatty mood which sucks because we're about to go to dinner but allison is almost here she's like five minutes away so i'm assuming me and her are going to catch up while i finish getting ready so hoping that puts me in a little bit more of a chipper mood i'm sure it will i just need like some bestie talk you know and i will update you guys when i get fully ready and we're gonna go to dinner so talk in just a minute wait it's not focusing hello bestie <laughs> okay this is the final result the ootd for the night leather jacket corset like bodysuit gray skirt docks that's what i'm wearing we're getting ready to leave cammy's picking us up you look you look like a therapist you're sitting there with your leg crossed over you said and what brings you in today 
a lot of a lot of stuff. A lot of no. stuff. <laughs> Good morning. I just woke up a little bit ago. I was so exhausted. I did not vlog as much as I wanted to last night. I just like get so caught up in conversation and I'll feel awkward to just like whip my phone out and film at dinner. Like my friends are so supportive of, supportive of my YouTube channel, but I don't know, like it just feels like rude maybe to me. I don't know if I'm just weird, but Anyway, I'm going to try to be better about that, but dinner was so good and so fun. I was a little bit nervous because I kind of had friends from like all different, you know, walks of life and all different like categories of my life. I had friends that I met while I worked at Target. I had law school friend there and then I had my best friend Allison that I met at EKU there but it went so well the conversation was so good we talked about travel and school and work and goals and it was just 10 out of 10 the food was so good I got this like pasta almost like it was almost like Asian inspired pasta um, not noodles, but like actual pasta with steak on top and it was delicious. I have leftovers that I'm like already thinking about. So it was just so good, so fun. And then me and Allison came back here after and we just caught up and chatted and then she had to go home because she had like a lot of homework and stuff to do today. So yeah, I feel very relaxed and when I woke up, I read a couple chapters of this book that I've been reading. I don't really know how to pronounce this, so I'm very sorry. Not that far into it. Well, I guess I kind of am. This is a very long book. It's like 500 pages long, but I really like it so far. So, just had a very lazy morning. Have not even made my bed. Have not even showered. So, I'm probably going to get up and get that started because I have my meeting at 12.30 at the law building with my notes editor to, like, go over my note. And I want to make sure I'm, like, fully awake and like a human by then. So let's get this Saturday started. super nice I had never actually like talked to him he's a 3L at school but he's like my notes editor so he is the person who went through my notes and he kind of left comments on it and he like walked through the entire thing with me but overall he seemed like impressed with my note seemed like he thought it was interesting and that I'm on the right track I do have to add a couple of little things in and fix like some grammar errors and things like that but feeling good about that I don't know why I'm so tired and I just overall kind of feel like I'm in a weird slump like I've had such a good weekend I don't really know what's going on but I'm gonna make a coffee and hopefully like pep up a little bit because I do have to drive home I'm from Bell County Kentucky so currently I live in Lexington which is like kind of in central Kentucky but Bell County is in Eastern Kentucky, all the way down next to Virginia and Tennessee. It's gonna be like a two and a half hour car ride. So I definitely wanna make sure that I'm like awake and not drowsy for that. So I've been resting on the couch for a minute, but I haven't had coffee yet today. So I'm kind of thinking the lack of caffeine may be contributing to how I feel. I have only used this Cafe Bustello once. I don't know if I'm really in the mood for this right now. It's very good, but it's very 
I don't really know how to explain it. I don't want to say like nutty, but it's just not really what I'm going for right now. So I am going to use the Nespresso and I'm going to add a little twist that I don't think I've shown on camera before. So, okay, one second. Okay, so I'm just starting off with two shots of espresso. I used this pod. It's like from the Nespresso store. Double espresso, scuro, or scuro, I'm sure of how to pronounce that. So, have the espresso here, and then I'm actually just gonna add a little bit of this like chai, concentrate i've used this a couple times and i really like um the like extra spice and flavor that it gives to my lattes so i'm just gonna add like a little oh my goodness what just happened i just spilled it everywhere okay i'm just gonna add a little bit of that okay i have the chai in there and then i'm gonna go in with some half and half all right i'm just going to mix this up with my frother and make sure it's nice and creamy. And now I'm just gonna add a few ice cubes. Very good. It's not sweet. I didn't want anything like super sweet. It's just very spicy and creamy and refreshing. Okay, I just packed for home. I'm only staying for one night, so I didn't have a ton to pack and I'm getting ready to head out. My parents are actually not even home right now. They went to Knoxville, Tennessee to shop for vehicles. My mom recently just started her job as a nurse and she wants to treat herself and get herself a new vehicle because our like family vehicle is a truck that we've had for years and years. And it's been a great truck, but at the same time, like it does have a few things wrong with it. So she just really needs like a reliable vehicle to get her like to and from work. So they've been shopping around for a couple of months now, um, but they haven't found anything that is like really jumping out to them. So they went to Knoxville today. They should be home by the time I get home. Yeah, so it just worked out that I'm gonna be getting there a little bit later than I originally planned because they actually went to Knoxville today. I was getting ready to head out, but I got a package that I was not expecting to get this fast. I didn't think it was gonna be here until like next week, but I'm so excited. Oh my god, they're so cute. So I've been wanting some new pajamas. So I got these from Old Navy because they were having um, like 25% off. And I was like, okay, this is the perfect time to treat myself to some new pajamas. Hey, why are you drinking my coffee? Did you guys see that? She just finessed me. You can't have coffee. I'm so sorry. You're not allowed to have coffee rose. Okay, so the first pair is this pink set and it's just like traditional pajamas you know like bottoms button down shirt but pink with strawberries oh my god it's so cute i love them so much i think i got both of these sets for i want to say like 60 dollars could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's what it was I really want to try the Jerf Avenue ones, but they're always sold out and they're a little expensive for what I want to spend on pajamas. So I just, I decided to just go with the Old Navy ones because I feel like people really like them and they were on sale. So, oh my God, shut up. So freaking cute. I got a size small, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I got a size small. Cause I'm notorious for like putting stuff in the dryer that does not belong in the dryer. So that's the first set that I got. And then the next set is just yellow. I'm finding that yellow actually looks okay on me. I used to be really wary of um, wearing yellow cause like I have, I have blonde hair. I was like, that's not gonna like look good. But ever since I got that yellow bucket hat for Amsterdam, I have been obsessed with like oranges and yellows. So decided to step outside of my comfort zone and get yellow jammies. These are really cute. These don't have any fruits or anything on them, but um, still really cute. Really cute. Perfect for like spring and they just look really nice. They're a little bit see-through, but that's okay because like no one's really going to see it except for me. Wow. Okay. Well, this just really made my day. This is what I needed. I definitely think that I just needed caffeine because I feel much more awake now 
um, and I'm just in a much better mood. So I'm gonna load my car up and hit the road. I actually need to stop at Target before I like really get on the road because I need to get my mammals Valentine's gift and a little something for my parents too. I know that Valentine's Day is like really like for significant others and stuff, but I typically will get like my mama and then my mom and dad like a little something because they get me stuff still. Even though I'm a big girl now, they still um, get me stuff for Valentine's Day. So guess that's the plan. Also, look at these cute shoes that I got for my birthday. My boyfriend got them for me um, and I am like obsessed with them. I'm normally very like brand loyal to Nike, but I've been wanting a pair of New Balances forever and I just never would like get myself any. And so he got me these ones that are very colorful and very cool and I'm obsessed. So, okay, I need to head out. I will maybe take you guys into Target with me. I'm hoping they have like a lot of like cute Valentine's stuff. But the Target that I'm going to go to is the smaller one. It's like on campus pretty much. So I don't know. We'll just have to see. But anyway, okay, talk later. Mama wanted a picture of me and her. And this is what we got. <laughs> okay, I haven't talked to the vlog in a hot minute, but I'm on my way back to Lexington. I'm in London. I decided to stop to get a matcha latte at Starbucks. And it was so nice to go home and spend time with my family. I really think that's what I needed to get myself out of that slump I was in. So I'm feeling much better. I'm still like really tired for some reason I don't really know why because I slept a lot last night but I just wanted to update the vlog my parents did not find a car when they went car shopping um, yesterday so they're still on the hunt I think they're just weeding out options and like seeing what they really like want so there's the update on that this Starbucks is always really busy and when I pulled in the line was like backed out into the main road So I was like, I'm not waiting on that I'm just gonna get back on the interstate and I'll get coffee when I get back to Lexington But the line is for this new chicken place called Slim Chickens I've never had it, but there used to be a steak and shake here where this place is But they put this Slim Chickens place in and the line for that is backed out into the road So the line was not for Starbucks, thankfully I should not have to wait too long on my drink. When I get home, I think I'm gonna rest for just a minute and like nap if I'm still feeling tired. I'm hoping this matcha really wakes me up because I do have some like reading and school stuff that I need to do when I get home. But I'm gonna rest first if I'm still tired and then get into my school stuff. I need to read, organize, and plan for this upcoming week, so. That's what this part of the vlog is going to be. I'm going to end the vlog tonight probably because tomorrow I'm planning on starting a new vlog. Like a week in my life in law school. So that's the plan. Time to let the Sunday evening routine commence. It's 4 o'clock and I just have a couple of things that I need to get done before I can relax for the night. Before I get started on any schoolwork or reading or anything, I am just gonna oil my hair because I'm gonna wash my hair tonight and do like the full self-care, like shower routine and everything. So for the past like month or so, I've been trying to grow my hair out because I got it like all chopped off. Loved having the bob, the like chopped hair, but I think that I'm ready to grow my hair out again. So. I've been trying to get it to grow faster so I've been taking like the hair skin and nails gummies and then I've also been oiling my hair. I use this um, Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil and then I also use this. I got this at the Dollar General I think and this is from Target but you can also get it at Walmart. So. These are the two things that I use and I kind of just take this oil. A little bit messy and I just put some in my hand mix it up and I just put that all in my scalp 
I've noticed a huge difference in how um, fast my hair grows with this stuff. So I do really like it and I do recommend it. It was really um, viral on TikTok for a while. I kind of like to focus it in this area because this is where I have a lot of breakage and where my hair tends to be the weakest. And then whatever's left on my hands, I just kind of extend that to the ends of my hair. All right, and then I go in with this Africa's Best Jamaican Black Castor Growth Oil. This may not work for all hair types. I do believe that this stuff is meant for people with more coarse hair, especially like people of color, but my natural hair, you can't really tell now because I have it straightened, but my natural hair is pretty coarse. So I find that these kinds of products geared toward coarse hair really, really help tame my hair and keep it healthy, especially since I um, diet. All right, now that that's in there, I'm just gonna throw it in a hair clip and I'll let that sit in there while I do my homework, while I make dinner, and then I'll shower it out later. I typically like to let it sit in there for at least like three to four hours. So normally my Sunday like reset routine would include cleaning and grocery shopping and all of that fun stuff but I kind of got all of that done on Friday because I knew I'd be going home for the weekend. So really all I have to do is sit down and like study and prepare for the week ahead. I also already made my to-do list for next week. So I have everything mapped out. I just have to sit down and read and get everything ready for Monday. So Mondays are one of my longest days of class. Mondays and Thursdays, I go to class from basically 8.30 in the morning to like 4 p.m. It's a lot of reading to prepare for those days, but I think I already said this earlier in the vlog, but I've already completed my reading for my first class tomorrow, which is medical liability. I did that Friday, I believe. And then for criminal procedure, I don't have to read anything because we're still going to be talking about the same assignment we talked about Thursday. It's kind of a lot, but that really only leaves me with three classes that I need to read for. So I'm really hoping it's not going to take me very long. I'm going to take like two and a half ish hours to sit down and get all of that done. Maybe it won't even take me that long. Who knows? But I kind of want to make coffee but like i already had that matcha on the drive back to lexington so i'm probably just gonna drink some water or like some tea or something i had to go to walmart with my family before i drove back here to lexington they just like they wanted me to go in there with them to like <laughs> spend some extra time together which is really wholesome but i found these plants so this one is rosemary i'm pretty sure and then this one is basil and I'm really hoping that I don't kill them. I have them here in the window getting sun. I just have to keep the soil like moist. So I also did not have another like um, planter. So I just use this coffee cup that I don't use much anymore. And I just think they look really cute sitting there and I'm hoping I don't kill them. I'm probably gonna use the basil tonight cause I wanna make pasta for dinner. So stay tuned for that. Rosie is so happy that I'm home. She gets <laughs> She gets really sad when I leave, but it's for your happy ma's home, right? that I did not need groceries for this week but I got done with my school stuff a little bit earlier than anticipated so I did decide to go to Trader Joe's and just pick up a few things that I noticed were missing from my cabinets things that I needed to restock and then also some snacks for this week because I'm really 
and a bad habit of like going to the grocery and just buying a lot of ingredients and not getting snacks and so i end up going to like target or something and then just buying a bunch of random stuff and then i don't really eat it and it's just this whole thing so i went to trader joe's just got a few things i don't know if people really like care to see like my trader joe's hauls or my grocery hauls on my channel but when i go to trader joe's specifically it feels literally like christmas morning because i did not grow up around a trader joe's so i just love going and i love just looking around and honestly i don't really mind grocery shopping i typically do the like kroger pickup thing just to save time but when i can actually go in and like brainstorm with like different ingredients and just see any new products that are on the shelves i don't know it's just fun okay first and foremost i got these cheese puffs i know people love these but i would never had them before and i literally opened them on the way home and snacked on them so good they taste almost exactly like cheetos and they're reduced fat 30 percent less fat than regular fried cheese flavored corn snacks i don't know if that really matters or anything or if these are really more healthy than like cheetos but they are very good very tasty i needed some spring mix because i'm almost out of the bag that i got from target and it's to that weird point where the lettuce is kind of getting like soggy and it smells weird so i'm scared to eat it so i got this because i love making salads and i don't really know what else to have for lunch i typically will just do like a salad of some kind i got some mini cucumbers and i also got hummus i got the just trader joe's like regular brand smooth and creamy roasted red pepper hummus i like to cut up my cucumbers and then maybe even some crackers or banana peppers and then i have it with hummus and it's just the perfect snack and i love it i kind of want to make chicken noodle soup or some kind of soup later this week so i decided to change it up a little bit and i i have chicken broth but i wanted to try some miso ginger broth and just kind of see what i can do with that i think it'll be an interesting new flavor and ingredient to play with so get really excited to try that i was almost out of my good olive oil so i just got this imported olive oil packed in italy not sure if this is better than any other olive oil that you can buy like anywhere but it was more expensive so it better be pretty good this is kind of a random thing i got but this is just frozen cod oh i thought it was two um like cuts but there's actually three in here and it was only 8.59 which is pretty good i really like cod so maybe i'll try to like bread this and have it with some sweet potato fries or something later this week that actually sounds really good so excited to try this i'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and to make more like different recipes i got some nuts to snack on these are just um roasted and salted fancy mixed nuts i don't really know what makes them fancy but i love nuts love peanuts cashews almonds pecans you name it i think nuts are just such a great snack and you can literally have them with anything so i just i grabbed this has a resealable bag so it'll last forever last but not least i got this um vegetable biryani I, i'm not sure how to say that please correct me in the comments but it just says seasoned basmati rice with vegetable dumplings this actually sounds really good tempted to have this tonight but i kind of had already like settled it in my mind that i'm gonna make pasta so i'll save this for later in the week when i don't have as much time to like actually make dinner maybe tomorrow or thursday when i have super busy days but i'm gonna put all of this away and probably get started on dinner and my nighttime routine honestly like i said i'm done with my schoolwork for tomorrow i really don't have much to do other than make dinner do my nighttime routine maybe lay out an outfit for tomorrow just maybe sit down and journal i'm also very much so sucked in to the book that i was telling you all about earlier in the vlog i am like 200 ish pages in and it's just so good i cannot wait to lay down and read it some more tonight so i'm going to get started on putting this way get dinner started do my nighttime routine and then it'll be time for bed because your girl is tired
Thank you.